So I'm going to show you some really cool things about 2020 Ranger and the key and the things you can do with this key. Uh, this key is not just to uh, start the vehicle, stop the vehicle, remote start it. It can do a lot of cool things and I want to show you some of those hidden things that this key can do. Starting with um, what you see here on the key, it can release uh, the actual metal key. So you just hit that button and it releases this, uh, this key right here. Now this key is, uh, uh, can be used a couple different places around the vehicle and I'll show you where those uh, are used. But I want to show you a cool little trick that let's just say somebody wants to borrow your vehicle and you just have your keychain on here. So let's pretend these are all your keys, your house keys. You can actually just give them this fob and keep your keychains. So a good way to separate your house keys to your uh, vehicle keys right off the bat with this right here. So let me show you uh, what we can do with this specific key. Now, the reason why we have this is to get inside the vehicle if for some reason this uh, was, uh, was dead, the battery was dead and it was no longer transmitting. So uh, I'm gonna show you a couple places where we can use this specific key. So come over uh, to the driver's side and on the Ranger we have uh, in here, we could just put the key in and unlock the door and you're good to go. So that's the uh, first spot where we can actually uh, use the key is to get inside the vehicle. Now where you'll also need the key is down in here if you ever get a, a flat tire, you need access to the spare tire. And if you didn't know about separating this key, you might try to figure out what key do you need to open that? Well, guess what? You need this key. So pretty simple, put that in there, twist, and that pulls out. And basically in here uh, reveals, and might be really, really hard to see, it reveals where you would put uh, basically your, um, uh, your extension, uh, for your jack and you would be able to wheel down that tire and it's on a winch and the tire comes all the way down. Now to put this back in, uh, there's a little, uh, there's like a little uh, detent in here and this goes like that, pushes in and then you turn it and it stays in there. Okay, so that's how you use that. So that's the second spot uh, where you can use this key. The third one is on the tailgate right here. So let's say again, uh, when you have the uh, tailgate locked and I'll just put this down here uh, so that way it doesn't open up uh, when I come to it. You basically turn it and you'll, you can kind of feel, uh, it's a little stiff, you can kind of feel like you're moving an electronic uh, kind of actuator and then that opens up the tailgate right here. So uh, and then moving it back, you kind of see it moves over and you bring it back straight and that's now locked. So that's the third spot where you can use this, uh, this uh, secondary key. Now, let's just imagine you're in a scenario where um, the key fob is dead. So you're able to get inside the vehicle, uh, but you can't start the vehicle. So let me show you something really, really cool. And I'm gonna simulate this with, um, with the screwdriver. This is also where you could uh, uh, basically change the battery if you want. You're gonna put the screwdriver in this little slot right here a little flathead screwdriver and you're just going to push, 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 push and give it a little twist and then that basically takes off the cap and it uses a Panasonic CR2450, it's a three bolt battery, okay? To remove the battery, you're just going to go under and pry it up. Now the battery is completely removed. So I'm going to put this here and now this key fob is dead. There's nothing to it, you can't use it. There's obviously no battery to it. So I'm gonna demonstrate how you would go about getting inside the vehicle and starting the vehicle if your key fob is completely dead. So uh, you've got your key that you just removed, right, off the back of it. So you hit this button right here. Okay, so you hit this button, push it in, and now this uh, reveals this uh, secondary key. In the door, uh, that's lock, unlock. Now the door is unlocked. And I'm gonna have you come over to the passenger side and show you how this works. Okay, so we've set off the alarm coming inside the vehicle. So I want you to come in here and maybe we'll have to reshoot this so you can actually hear properly. I'm gonna pull this liner for this the cup holder. So I'm gonna pull this up 
er, er. it's a little bit difficult here. All right, where are you? Okay, there you go. It's a two-handed job. So I'm gonna pull this up. And you're gonna see here where it says, there's like a little key. So you actually place the key in here. So again, this is the dead key with no battery. I put my foot on the brake and now the vehicle starts. So basically what it's doing is it's sending the signal through this, uh, the key fob without having to use the actual battery. Cause you know, some people I've seen them put the, the key fob really, really close to the actual start stop button. It's not how you do it. You gotta put it right here. Uh, so that's where it's located on the Ranger. Lastly, I wanna show you the newest key and the latest key uh, for the uh, Ranger, and that is called Ford Pass. Let me show you how that works. So this is Ford Pass, and uh, this is my current uh, vehicle that I'm driving is F-150. And if I wanted to add a vehicle, which I'm gonna add this one right here, is I'm gonna go uh, add vehicle, and it's gonna uh, prompt me to put the VIN in, or I could just take a picture. So I go to this picture and it comes out with like a scanner bar. So I'm gonna open the door and where you would scan that is right here. So I'm gonna come in and scan that. Okay, so now it's searching. Okay, vehicle's found. Perfect, give it a nickname. I'll call it uh, Ranger. Get started. Going to loading. Now the vehicle's loaded. I now have to activate the vehicle. Vehicle details, activate vehicle. And I'm gonna jump inside the vehicle. So now I'm inside the vehicle, it's asking me to uh, uh, basically get the vehicle online and get uh, get them synced together. So I've started up the vehicle, I've hit OK, and now it's pending an activation. And now it's sent out on this screen right here. It says, uh, confirm for pass connection, please confirm the associated vehicle to my phone or in my Ford Pass account. I'd say yes, perfect. Now the vehicle is activated. You could hook up Wi-Fi if you needed to from there for a hotspot, but we don't need to do that here. But the vehicle is now activated. So let me show you a couple neat things with this. Now in here, I can um, uh, unlock the vehicle. I could start the vehicle or I can lock the vehicle. So let's just say uh, someone, somebody needed access to the vehicle. I could uh, hit the unlock button, push and hold that and it goes in uh, basically a search mode. And if we could pay attention to this, you'll see the kind of the lights uh, activate, turn on when now that vehicle is unlocked and it gives me a notification on my phone that the vehicle is unlocked. We do the same thing with a, a lock button, a little bit of draft stuff for uh, NFL if you're watching the NFL draft. Uh, if you wanted to start the vehicle, uh, just click the start button and basically uh, it sends a signal to the satellites, the satellites connect back to uh, the vehicle, and kaboom, now the vehicle started, pretty cool. So, same thing, you could turn off the vehicle, you could do, turn it off with the key fob if you wanted to, or you could just turn it off with the Ford Pass app uh, by just hitting that button again. And uh, you could see it has a 15 minute timer, you can add uh, more minutes to it if you wanted to, if you're warming up your vehicle, or you could just click that and it turns off the vehicle. So. Um, Ford Pass has a lot of cool things in it. Uh, you could see, you know, your, your uh, uh, distance till empty. So this has 117 kilometers till empty. It tells you uh, vehicle locations. It tells you recalls, all that cool stuff. So anyways, you have a super cool key that does really neat things uh, for the vehicle. Uh, access uh, to the vehicle, uh, it, separating your house keychains, all that cool stuff, getting into it. Showed you how to start your vehicle. Uh, with basically the, uh, uh, the uh, key fob completely dead. Now, with the Ford Pass app, you won't be able to uh, drive off with the vehicle. You could start it, but it acts just like a remote uh, start function, just like your key. You need the key to be able to actually drive off with the vehicle, okay? So nobody can steal your vehicle. 
uh, basically if you started it with the Ford Pass app, you still actually need the physical key. And even if it's completely dead, you, you, you do it the way I showed you how to do it. Um, we, ha we showed you access on how to get your spare tire, uh, uh, the tailgate, um, and obviously the really cool phone uh, feature. Anyways, that is some hidden features inside of this uh, Ranger and available on most of our uh, Ford lineup, exactly the way I showed you, just a couple different locations. If you like this video, please subscribe, like our channel. If you've got any questions, you want us to shoot anything, um, please let us know. Put it in your com our comments and uh, we'll hopefully shoot that for you. Uh, have a great day and have an awesome weekend.